I hear things. I've heard the chatter. <laughs> I happen to be quite partial to my bass tone. Thank you very much. Don't let her gorgeous name badge fool you. She's a standard. But I really think it's all about the signal chain. Let's take a look. Step one in the signal chain is going right into this brand new Joyo Avalon compressor. Joyo makes great products. They're extremely affordable, very high quality, very durable. Love the aesthetics of the device, and it does what it's supposed to do, and it does it as it's supposed to be done for a bass guitar, and I appreciate that. Straight from the compressor, we go into my DI. Now, that's a little bit of a tone machine in and of itself, as it does have an amp and a cab sim. It doesn't do a lot in the way of adding a lot of tonal qualities to the overall signal, but I will say that it does a great job acting as a DI straight from there into the interface. And that's where we're gonna meet our friend Bias FX. The digital signal chain starts off in Bias FX at the standard positive grid gate, moves directly from there into the compressor. Just another bass compressor through Bias FX. From there, it moves directly into the Positive Grid Bass Deluxe Drive. From there, we move directly into a pair. So I split the signal into two separate GK800 amplifiers, and each of those amplifiers move into their own separate speaker cabinet. I've got the Bass Super 6 cab with an SM57 set, just, just a little offset. And on the other cab, I've actually got two SM57 set all together uh, mixed uh, so that they're fairly balanced. Really equate to a solid tone. So here's the cleaner of the two, or the underdriven bass tone. And let's add some overdrive. Let's hear it in the mix. So I don't know, what do you think? I think it's an alright tone. Mm -hmm. 